And also, this is by far the most useful thing I've ever learned when it comes to working out and progressively overloading and getting stronger from Encima. Alright, I've been on a progressive overload tirade for the past few videos on this channel, and I haven't actually talked about how to start your progressive overloads or how to log the first day if you just started doing it. So I'm gonna make a video today because today is the first day I've done back since I started progressively overloading. And I'm gonna just walk you through how I log my first workout in a progressive overload calendar. So let's hop right into this. For back, normally I just go through a rotation of seated rows and face pulls. My warm up was 70 pounds face pulls and I hit 15 pretty easily with about two or three left in the tank. So I'm gonna consider that a warm up. I logged 23 there because 23 is the height setting on the cable machine. 23 gets me to where I feel the most activation on my back and then I also logged V-grip as the attachment I'm using for my seated rows. I would do my first set for seated rows right now and normally I do 60 pounds because I found that when I do more than 60 pounds I stop getting back activation and I start activating my biceps to pull the seated row um, but I'm gonna try 70 pounds and and aim for 10 to 12 reps instead of 15 uh, on the seated row. So we'll see if I can actually get back activation on 70 pounds. Okay, so I was actually able to get 15 reps with like two or three in the tank with 70 pounds and pretty little bicep activation. I'm gonna go back to face bowls for another set. I'm gonna try 80. I think that'll be considered another warm up. I'm gonna go 80 pounds on the face pulls and see if I can kind of cap out at 12 or 13. Okay, so I hit 15 with like two or three left in the tank. So I'm gonna run up to 90 for the next set and see how it goes. And I figured now would be a decent time to mention that there are two different types of face pulls. The ones that I'm doing right now, you go heavier and focus on activating the back, but there is a different goal where you put it right here so like right next to your face and then focus and then kind of rep like this to get, uh, I don't know exactly what this muscle is called. The two different variants of face pulls, I'm doing the back variant right now where you load it a little bit higher, for, uh, pull straight and focus on the back activation. I'm gonna go for 12, 10 to 12 with 80 pounds. So that was 13 with about two left in the tank. I think I'm good there for now, because of course this will get more fatiguing as I continue with the workout, so I think I'll stick with 80 pounds for now at 13 reps on the seated row and go up to 90 for 12 reps on the face pulls. So that was 12 and I have about one or two left in the tank. So I think 90 pounds at 12 is what I'm gonna be for this workout and then progress that to 13 for next workout. And also this is by far the most useful thing I've ever learned when it comes to working out and progressively overloading and getting stronger from Encima. If you are able to do five sets of 15 reps on any given movement with the same weight and have clean form, that's important, having clean form, you should move up one unit next time you do that movement and drop down to four sets. So if you're able to do five sets of 15 reps clean lat raises with 10 pounds, next time go up to 15 pounds and aim for 10 to 12 reps. That is easily the most useful thing I've ever learned. <laughs> When, coming to, when it comes to progressively overloading. So there is a fine line between doing too much volume and having too much weight, but if you can work on threading that needle perfectly, then that is, I think, where you wanna be, and that is what will get you easily the most progress in the gym. So after that, I think I found where I'm gonna wanna be for this workout. It's gonna be 12 reps of 90 pounds for the face pulls and 12 to 13 reps of the seated row with the V-grip for 80 pounds. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish the back portion of this workout and I'll get back to you after I finish that. I'm probably gonna aim for maybe two more sets of each. It's also important to note that I don't really count the warm-up sets that I did in the full set for this workout. So I did 15 reps of 70 pounds on the face pulls and then 15 reps of 70 pounds on the seated row. I don't really count those towards the actual workout. Those are just warm-up sets so I will do four, three or four more additional sets after those warm-ups that do count for the workout. 
God. I tried to do a fucking pull up, but evidently my back's too tired out after doing those last two sets. So I did two more sets of each, and that's gonna be it for my back portion of the workout today. Next time I do back, I'm probably gonna add in the rear delt machine and do some rear delt stuff. This thing here for the back, obviously. Um, and so next time I'm just gonna start where this workout left off. So probably increase one rep per set and then do the same process to establish a progressive overload standpoint for the rear delt machine. All right, that's about all I have for this workout and this video today. After the back stuff, as I said, just did some cardio. So boxing, jump roping, back work, jump roping, and then some core, so planks, crunches. The full workout, like I mentioned. Time to do some more of this, and then wrap up the gym session for today. But if you enjoyed this video, if you found value in it, be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Comment down below if it helped. I'll keep making stuff like this. Keep teaching you guys how to progressively overload and get gains in the gym. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I hope you have a great day.